Today, we honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our nation. Earlier at Arlington National Cemetery, the 155th National Memorial Day observance. You can see American flags placed in front of more than 260,000 headstones. The National Veterans Memorial and Museum here concluded its Memorial Day weekend festivities with a remembrance ceremony earlier today. NBC 4's Joe Collins was at that event and he shares the many emotions felt on this day of remembrance. One of the things that stood out during the ceremony was a number, 1.3 million, that refers to the amount of Americans that have died defending the country over its history. And it is that 1.3 million that people celebrate today on Memorial Day. A day of patriotism. It's a great day to be a veteran, and it's a great day to be in Columbus, and it's a great day to be with you. But Memorial Day is not really a great day. It's an important day. A day of mixed emotions. On one hand, a time of grievance, a sad occasion about remembering those that died. Memorial Day can be a sad, solemn occasion, especially for those of us who were closest to those who paid the ultimate price. On the other hand, a time of happiness, a time for parades, barbecues, a day at the pool, and fireworks. That's why we serve. We serve to give the freedom for Americans to fully and thoroughly enjoy their lives with each other. But for everyone, it's a time to remember those that died defending one of the United States' main principles, freedom. I am eternally humbled by the 1.3 million souls America is memorializing today. Those that gathered on the roof of the National Veterans Memorial and Museum Monday morning did just that, remembering the 1.3 million Americans who died while serving. Along with the laying of a commemorative wreath, the one moment that spoke the loudest was when people in the crowd stood up and said one person they remember this Memorial Day. I always remember Captain Michael Cerrone, who gave his life in Iraq so we can gather here to live. I'll always remember J. Dwayne Bratton, the server the on New York town. With the plane of taps and one last moment of silence, that brings the end of Memorial Day, but the memory of those that have died defending this country will never be lost. Local for you in Columbus, Joe Collins, NBC4.